Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of, of my new module, which is called uh, New Rage or Nurash. It doesn't matter how you want to call it. And uh, but before checking my video, I recommend you to check Omri Cohen's video. I'm going to put a link in the description, and in that video he makes a really nice overview of both uh, low pass gates modules of the two low pass gate modules that I have. And he makes uh, very nice audio demos. In this video, instead, I'm going to focus more in the details and also a little bit on the internals of the of the of the modules. And I'm going to try to explain for the people that doesn't know what's a low pass gate. Uh, I'm going to yeah explain how it works. So to start uh, to begin, we're going to try to understand what's a uh, the low pass gate. So first we need to know what's a low pass filter. And yeah, a low pass filter, I guess that if you have ever used a synthesizer, you have used a filter. And, and if you have a, a real hardware modular, you know that you usually have a cutoff button that you rotate and you define uh, how open or close is the filter and when it's completely closed you cannot hear sound and as you are gonna uh, as you open it you are you are listened first to the to the lower harmonics of, of your sound and then you when it's fully open you you listen to the complete sound and this knob that we are moving uh, it's usually a mechanical variable resistor like this it's a potentiometer so the position where we put it defines the resistance and that resistance is used to to control the the filter itself but uh, this is this is mechanical what other kinds of variable resistors are there available the the first one that we can consider and the important one for low pass gates it's something called a uh, optical variable resistor i mean uh, or Bactrol and you can find more information about it in Wikipedia with the name resistive opto isolator which what basically it is uh, we have a LED this is the internal view of it we have a LED and we have a, a resistor that is sensitive to light so de depending on the type the more light light there is uh, the resistor is higher and less light means that the resistor is uh, smaller uh, but depending on the type it can be ex uh, exactly the opposite so this is a if, if we have this kind of optical resistors uh, we can use a signal a voltage or uh, more properly speaking uh, a current to control the light of, of the diode and control the resistance based on a, on a current or voltage signal. So, the, there, but there is one problem with this kind of uh, opto resistors or Bactrols is that compared to the mechanical, uh, changing the resistance is not as immediate as we want. So, in a mechanical if you move it very fast, if you move the, if you twist the knob very fast, it's gonna very fast change to the final value of the resistor. But the problem with the with the backtrolls is that they cannot change that fast. So first, it's nonlinear, which means that uh, the same amount of voltage will not uh, increase the resistance uh, in. in with, with a similar delta so maybe you add one volt and you have a value of resistance let's say uh, okay in this this case is milliamps you have uh, 10 milliamps and the value of the resistor is one ohm but if you decrease it to uh, 10 times to one uh, milliamp uh, the value of, of the resistance has has changed this will be about uh, 11 12 13 
uh, thirteen ohms, and when we reach this part, it's, it's non-linear. So uh, it, if if this will be linear, this will be a perfect line, but it is not. And the backdrops have another problem, which is the memory effect, which is basically they resist to change the value very fast, and depending on on how you are uh, changing the value, let's say if, if you are turning on, turning, turn it in on, it can go very fast, but maybe uh, turn it off is is very slow. So here we have for, for uh, the, the two kinds of factors. Uh, when we add uh, uh, an abrupt change, it takes some time. It is like 0 0.1, 0 0.001 seconds to turn on. And, and then once it's on, it starts changing slightly. And this is the other case, uh, we, we want to, to increase the resistance. We make an abrupt change and it, and it takes some time to, to change, to, to recover. So it, it resists to make uh, fast changes. So it's, it's not, um, what, what happens is that it's, you cannot control it with a very fast, a control signal, let's say uh, an audio rate oscillator. You can control it maybe with an LFO, but not with a with a with, with audio audio signal. So backdrops are very cool. You can practically take all your modules and replace all the all the potentiometers uh, with backdrops. In principle, it will work. But uh, you also need, in addition to the backdrop, you need a a small circuit that helps you convert the voltage into into resistance, which is usually uh, is not linear. And but yeah, you can you can you can do so, and you are gonna get very nice effects. So a low pass gate is basically this. We have a low pass filter which has an audio input and audio output. And we have a, a cutoff uh, signal, and then we get we put uh, this factorial circuit, uh, which is what I was mentioning before, and we have a CV. So we have a, a voltage that is going to control uh, the light in the LED, and that light in the LED is going to control the resistor. The resistor, and we use that resistor to change the cutoff of the of the filter. But in the case of the of the low pass gate, uh, it's also configured. The circuit allows you to to change the gain uh, or the volume of the signal. So my first low pass gate that I released it was uh, completely based on, on this on this paper, uh, in which uh, the authors uh, model the Buchla uh, low pass gate and. It's, it's, it's a direct implementation of, of, of their model. I, I didn't make this model. And the, in this paper, they show these graphics, which, which are very helpful to, to explain how it behaves. Let's say that we have uh, the, the low pass gate configured in VCA mode. If you remember what I showed you here, we can control the, the gain. This circuit allows, allows to control the gain or the volume of the signal. So uh, when we provide a signal, the the amplification, it's it's I mean the the output or the or the volume of your signal is it's uh, is this is this high, uh, which is close to zero dB, and we have a an, an almost flat response, but as as we move the the control voltage, what happens is that we are changing uh, the light in the LED which changes the resistance and which, which ends up changing the gain and we start moving uh, down so and we can see that this uh, well this is in decibels and the change that we are making, making it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's like a VCA that, that acts on, on dBs so the, the change of sound is going to be perceived by your ears uh, almost as 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 uh, linear, but we can see as well that that when changing the 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 amplitude of the sound, 
it also changed slightly the the cutoff frequency it's almost nothing and then we also have the the low pass mode in which we don't affect the level or yeah it's affected but not as much as as this one right it, when, when you when you move a filter you usually affect the the level of all the harmonics and we can see uh, that changing that control voltage that goes into the into the back troll, uh, will open the filter or close it and we can see that it also, it also has a little bit of resonance here uh, but it's also possible to combine into this circuit it's possible to combine those two behaviors uh, which is this mode and we can see uh, that we're changing a little bit uh, not as much as here the amplitude but we're changing the the cutoff frequency so we have a change in the gain change in the cutoff frequency but one important thing is that we are losing the resonance uh, because we are we're modifying the gain so we cannot have this resonance of the circuit and yeah but these three modes these three modes are, are quite useful and they they can be achieved with the same circuit and usually the real low pass gates have a switch to to change between these these three modes in the case of Julste, we have a, a vca mode a low pass mode and the sharpness control is is in charge of of cha of changing between uh, the VCA in the low pass mode so we can combine it but uh, slightly uh, in, in, in a gradual way so but there is there is an alternative circuit of, of the low pass gate of the Buchla low pass gate which adds some uh, extra resonance to the circuit and the one I got is, is this one from DJ Thomas White and you can buy the PCB and just solder the, the components by yourself. And one characteristic of this one is, is that it has a very, very strong resonance, which is quite nice. I like filters with, with a lot of resonance. So what I did in this case is, is that uh, I started, uh, since I've been modeling lots of filters, I, I have developed lots of, te of modeling techniques and simulation techniques. In, and I wanted to create a model of this thing, uh, which was much uh, like more advanced than the than the ones that the authors of the of this paper use. And I also wanted to capture uh, the powerful resonance that, that this circuit has. So, <clears throat> and that's my model. This that's why ended up in in Nurich. It has like the strong resonance. And it's a full nonlinear model, uh, which is quite nice because it also uh, like captures the behavior of, of saturation uh, internally in the circuit, and is simulating a, a, a full system of, of uh, nonlinear differential equations. And and it's uh, <coughs> and it's a dual. It has only like one control, but we have two separate gates with we, that we can trigger for two separate channels. And we, can, we have the drive control and the resonance control that we can find in, in all my, my models. And it was pointed out to me that this, uh, that this uh, filter uh, is called the Borg filter, which turns out, turns out to be, uh, the name comes from a combination of the Bukla model uh, 292 low pass gate and the Cork MS20 because it, it's a kind of similar filter. And putting the two together, we have the Borg filter. And that uh, Borg like filter is included into Freak. So if you have the, the Freak filter, uh, you have an option to select a new range and, and use it. So the main difference here is that uh, in this filter, we are not simulating the, the back troll, uh, neither the, the VCA, it's like the, it's the pure filter circuit. It's like the, the uh, what I did is it's basically from the schematic, I, I removed the, the parts that were not needed and I modeled only the filter part for this. 
Okay, now let's listen to how it sounds. I'm gonna show you some audio. It's, it's not very complicated, but I wanna try to, to explain feature by feature. Okay, what we have here is my traditional demonstration bench. We have scope, an LFO, a clock, a VCO, a near edge. So I'm inputting the a saw wave. And yeah, right now the, the filter is completely closed. If I if I open it, we should we should listen to the sound. Uh, this is a little bit saturated. So just decreasing the drive, uh, you can control uh, how much it saturates. I'm gonna keep it at this level. And yeah, let's listen first to the filter. I'm gonna add a little bit of resonance. Well, not a little bit, quite a bit of resonance. And there you have it. This is the kind of resonance that this filter has. I'm gonna keep it slightly lower for now. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna look at the, well, the first one is, is the CV gate, which is basically, you can control with an, with an LFO this, this uh, knob. Let's take the, the LFO. And that's it, we have the attenuator to, to control it either in the positive side or the negative side. And now we're gonna check the two gates. So the, the two gates are uh, are to control the two channels of the low pass gate. So if, if I have only if I have connected only one input uh, but two outputs, we are using two low pass gates, and right now we, we have uh, we have them in the link in the link mode. So whatever I put in, in one, you can see here that uh, the same signal it's applied to the other channel. So this is a, this is a saw wave, and this is uh, how the low pass gate uh, sounds. Actually, I'm gonna take a, a square. And there you can listen that it's very easy to make these kind of uh, very strong drums. And you can hear that there is like a, like a variation. It's like a fast swept of the filter. And that's due to the backdrop behavior. And, but we can turn it off if, if we want. So I'm gonna turn, turn off the backdrop. So what happens is that, well, I, I'm actually not turning it off. I'm adding a backdrop, which is super, super fast. It doesn't have memory. So the changes is, are almost instantaneous. This is backdrop on, backdrop off. And there is another way that we can hear it. Uh, the difference, for example, I'm gonna take a LFO. like an FM. This is with the back roll off. So we can change very fast uh, the frequency of the filter. But if I turn on if I turn off oh, if I turn on the back roll and it's too fast and the back roll cannot cannot react and we cannot hear 
practically any difference. Okay, now let's... Uh, yeah, to make this kind of sound, I was using a... a, a pulse or a, or a square wave. But now we're gonna try with with shorter pulses like this. So this one is a is a very short pulse, and you can hear the difference in the in the sound compared to the to using a, a longer gate. This is practically no no input. It's only the resonance of the filter, and then we can. second signal here so we have combined the two signals now and I'm gonna unlink them and now you should be able to listen to the difference uh, if you have a if you're listening in stereo and that's with the gates unlinked and now what I'm gonna do is, is turn on the VCA mode and as I show you before in, in the graphics the one, one thing that happens with the VCA is that the resonance practically you don't have any resonance but it's very very subtle and now you can use uh, any like the signals to control the level So that's a soul wave. And that's with the with very very short pulses coming from the backdrop. You can listen that it's like just like a small ping. These are very short too, so they can they are not enough to open the back door. But let's try with this with a very short uh, pulse. So you can create nice effects by changing the the width of the gate. Let's go back to the filter mode. That's basically new rage, and as I mentioned, it, it has a very nice, uh, characteristic, very unique filter, and it's quite quite useful for making these percussive uh, sounds because you you kind of have like an envelope that is generated by the backdrop. You can turn it on, turn it off. Uh, you can use it in DCA mode. And also, you also get this kind of pinging sounds, and you can use it in trigger it with two channels in stereo, either by by unlinking the the signal, and you still have one main control. And that's it. I hope you that you have enjoyed this video. 
you know, if you want to keep uh, receiving this kind of uh, videos, uh, subscribe to this channel. And also, if, if you have suggestions on videos that you want me to do, uh, things that you want me to, to explain or explore, just uh, send me a message and I will try to, to make it. Goodbye.